If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. After a fantastic weather weekend, we've had beautiful weather across the Tennessee Valley on this Monday as well, with high pressure for now in control of the forecast here across the area. Clouds are still well down to the south over southern Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, and southern areas of Mississippi. This is that outer cloud shield that precedes what is now currently Tropical Francine in the Gulf of Mexico that will be spreading northward with time. We'll start to see that inch into our area late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. It's going to be a little bit before the rain chances getting here, but we do have rain chances in the forecast. Lawrenceburg Airport got to 84 degrees this afternoon after a morning low down at 50. No rainfall today, but it's going to change in a big way later in the week. Muscle Shoals Airport, no rainfall here either. Again, that changes big time this week. Got to 89 this afternoon after a morning low of 53. Will be similarly warm, if not a couple degrees warmer tomorrow. Tonight, mostly clear skies, a light wind and dry conditions in the low levels that allows radiational cooling to be efficient. And that means we drop back into the 50s, low to mid 50s over southern middle Tennessee, except for going west of the Natchez Trace, you get back closer to the upper 50s headed toward Wayne and Hardin counties, northwest Alabama and northeast Mississippi between the upper 50s to maybe 60 degrees over toward Iuka, Mississippi. And then the dryer is still in place in the low levels for our Tuesday, and with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, even though clouds start thickening in the afternoon, that allows us to warm into the upper 80s and lower 90s across the area. But that dry low level air mass means that the heat index values are going to be very close to the air temperatures. So this is certainly something that we can tolerate. And that's going to be the warmest day of the next seven days going forward. The future cast shows clouds spreading northward going to tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, but the rain still stays off to the south. However, you get late, late Wednesday afternoon, especially Wednesday night, rain starts to move into the area from south to north, and Thursday, as early as the morning hours, continuing off and on through the day, through Thursday night, heavy rain at times, breezy, windy conditions, and that continues into parts of Friday as well, and even lingering showers on into the weekend ahead, all of that from Francine and what will eventually be the remnant circulation of what will become Hurricane Francine. Upper 80s, lower 90s here for a Tuesday, mid 80s for Wednesday, and then with the clouds and rain around Thursday through Saturday here, we're back into the mid to upper 70s. And even Sunday and Monday, the clouds kind of hang tough, showers around. We may have to bump these temperatures down just a couple degrees as well. We'll be fine tuning that in the days ahead. Latest information here on Francine, still a tropical storm this afternoon, but getting more organized and strengthening. You notice the banding in the satellite here, getting more organized with the circulation. The current advisory as the 4 p.m. Central time this afternoon has maximum sustained winds now up to 65 miles per hour, currently moving north-northwest at 7 miles per hour. It's supposed to do that based on the forecast. However, over the next 24 hours, it will make that turn to the north and then northeast up toward the Louisiana coastline, now projected to make landfall on the, on the Louisiana coastline Wednesday afternoon or evening as a Category 2 hurricane before the remnants move up the Mississippi Valley Thursday and Friday and affect our weather here locally in a big way. Here's how the local impacts across our part of the Tennessee Valley break down. And by our part of the Tennessee Valley, I mean southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama, and far northeast Mississippi. That's our viewing area. Heavy rain likely Thursday and Friday, even though some rain moves in as early as late, late Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night, the heavy rain moves in Thursday morning, continues off and on Thursday, Thursday night in the Friday. A general two to four inches of rain can be expected across the area. However, where we have some training bands, there could be some isolated heavier totals in there. It's too far out to nail down specifically where those higher totals 
Maybe we'll have more confidence in that in the next couple of days ahead. Breezy conditions also expected. Wind gusts of 20 to 30 miles per hour. Occasionally as high as 40 miles per hour expected. But 40 miles per hour won't be a common thing. It will be more of an isolated thing. Thursday and Thursday night, I don't really think there's a tornado threat in our local area. I think that stays off to our south. When this rain first arrives Wednesday night into Thursday, it will be falling into a dry, low-level air mass, and that causes evaporation of cooling, just like it does with a non-tropical system where we have rain north of a warm front during the winter months. It'll be the same type of situation. That causes the temperatures to cool at the surface as the rain moves in, and then we lock in stable air in the low levels that would prevent a tornado threat Thursday and a Thursday night. Something would have to radically change for our local area to have a tornado threat Thursday or Thursday night. However, things start to change a little bit going into Friday, so we're going to have to watch that. What happens is we have some drier air upstairs in the atmosphere start to circulate over top of us Friday late morning into the afternoon. That allows some sun breaks in the cloud cover. That heats up the atmosphere allows it to destabilize. We get some storm fuel or instability, and we think there may be a window of time late Friday morning into Friday afternoon where that storm fuel or that instability may mesh together with there still being enough spin in the atmosphere for maybe a few spin-up tornadoes. So we'll certainly be watching that. It's not a guarantee by any remote stretch of the imagination, but the threat is certainly there for Friday, and we'll be watching it carefully. The organized remnants of Francine move out of the way Friday night. However, they merge into an upper low that kind of cuts off over the Tennessee Valley over the weekend, and that keeps shower chances in our area through the weekend, honestly, on into Monday and maybe even Tuesday of next week. So we're going to drop out of the 80s into the 70s this evening, 60s, and then eventually 50s for the overnight. Most of us in the mid to upper 50s except for north of Highway 64 in southern middle Tennessee could be the lower 50s with mostly clear skies toward daybreak. Gradually increasing clouds for Tuesday highs a couple degrees either side of 90, mostly cloudy for Wednesday, a few late afternoon or evening showers moving in, and then rain starts to overspread the area overnight from south to north. Heavy rain, gusty winds, Moving in Thursday into Thursday night with Francine's remnants, that continues into Friday. And Friday, we'll have to watch for that possibility of stronger thunderstorms that may have rotation potential. That's not a guarantee, but we'll be watching that. Showers linger into the weekend, if not early next week. There's a little related seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock for a final check of your local weather.